Welcome to MOOC course on Computer Organization. I am Dr. R. Radha, working as Associate Professor in the Department of Computer Science, Srimati Devkunwa Nalalal Vaishnav College, Krompet, Chennai. I am very happy to introduce the course Computer Organization with four credits. This course is given in undergraduate level as elective paper in fifth or sixth semesters and as core paper in second semester. It is taught in all the Indian universities where UGC choice based credit system pattern is being followed at graduation level. It is 14 week course and one more week for the examinations and final assessment. The evaluation process consists of two phases where 30 percent is given for continuous evaluation which consists of quizzes, assignments, MCQs and the Remaining 70% is for your end term proctored examinations. This course is very important to all the students who belong to the stream of computer science like diploma in computer science, BCA, BSc computer science, MCA and BTech computer science and taught as allied subjects in BSc physics. Computer organization focuses on the function and design of various components necessary to process information digitally and deal with the interface between hardwares and softwares and also emphasize the structure and behavior of the computer system. By studying this, the student will know how exactly each instruction is executed at the micro level, the flow of data, timing analysis, memory hierarchy, trade-offs between the execution cycles hardware requirements cost, software and hardware trade-offs can be known. The computer organization will be taught in the first and second unit of this course. In third and fourth and fifth unit, Intel 8085 microprocessor is taught and its associated lab are explained in detail. Developing programs in assembly language helps in students ability to program in a low level programming language giving an idea of how memory is used for storage and execution of data. It helps in understanding the addressing modes and exploring the nature of different instructions and how the flow of program affects the different flags. All the lab problems are explained with open source software GNU SIM8085. So the students can exude and can feel how the data are stored in memory registers and IO ports. Instead of using hardware microprocessor kit which is costly for a student, they can work all the problems in this software which is very simple to install. The software supports both Windows and Unix platform. Students will be introduced to the major component of a computer system, its microstructure and their functions. Introduction to microprocessor architecture with coverage of digital logic, machine level data, instruction representation, ALU design and organization of the processors are explained in detail. Students will be introduced to the basic 8-bit microprocessor 8085. The course is concentrated on explaining the basics of microprocessor, its architecture, memory and I.O. interfaces. A complete knowledge of assembly language, instruction formats and its applications are explained. The concept of memory, addressing, decoding, interrupts, DMA controllers and communication interfaces are also explained. Myself and my team member Dr. Gayatri working as assistant professor in our department, both we assure you that after undergoing this course, you will be able to understand the theory and architecture of central processing unit, understand the concept of positive and negative integer storage in IEEE formats. Also, the students will be able to implement programs in assembly language for the given problems, able to manipulate individual registers, memory, etc. will have a complete knowledge of flag registers and the memory registers, will be able to write stack oriented programs and subroutines, will be able to write programs for counters and introduce time delays and calculate the execution time for each programs. will be able to do code conversions. So welcome to the course and happy learning. Thank you.